Yo, what's up everyone? Uh, I know this game is dead. Very dead. Uh, especially with MK1 coming around the corner. I feel like most people don't really care about this game. But, in case you do, for whatever reason, I just wanted to talk about Rain. Arguably, some people seem to think it's he's one of the worst characters in the game. I'm inclined to disagree. I think he is... I mean, I think he's really good. I think he can compete with top tier characters it's just that you kind of you just have to deal with a lot of 50 50s and uh he's very like neutral there isn't really a whole lot that is in his kit to like overcome most of them you just really gotta guess and that that is kind of unfortunate but he's still a really fun character um and i just wanted to uh say personally that this is probably I'd say his best variation, which is Hydra Boost. Let me look at it. Hydra Boost, Geyser Palm, and Edenian Force. Now, some people might think this is a weird combo, or they'll be like, hey, dumbass, why do you have Edenian Force and not fucking, I don't know, something like a Tidal Wave? Well, that's because fuck you. No, really, I just think Edenian Force is actually a little bit better. This is. If you're looking for like the most amount of damage you can get and the most utility, I would probably say this is his best variation. But anyway, uh, let me just show you a couple combos. Alright, so first move we're going to get into is 242. This move is minus 9 on block, but that's fine because you can, can just convert it into 24 down 4. But what you would want to convert it into is Hydra Boost, like so. You know, pretty basic, pretty standard. Everyone kind of knows this combo, right? I feel like most Reigns use it, most Reign players. So you're probably wondering, why do you have stuff like Geyser Palm? Why do you have Deadian Force? Deadian Force. And I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get, I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it, all right? Just wait, hold on. The reason why Deadian Force is my go-to personally is because not only can you catch them through an armor breaker, you can also, here, let me turn KBs off so you can see this. Alright, so you see these are off. If you time this right... That wasn't timed right. No, that still wasn't it. If you time this right... There. You can get the KB for free, pretty much. That's 40% right there. Almost 41. I mean, that, that's pretty good. You know? But not only do you get Air Argus Punch... You also get Air Evaporate. Now, Evaporate on its own really isn't that great. Personally, like, I can't even count the times I've jumped and, you know, found myself getting hit by a projectile, like, or, like, you know, anything like that. But it becomes kind of a mix. Like, you can dodge a second projectile, like Molina's size, or, uh, or even Liu Kang's low fireball. You can dodge both of them by jumping over pretty easily. You can just jump up up close, you know, mix them up a bit. You know, there's a lot you can really do with it, and personally, that's why I use it. It's a lot more room just to mess with your opponent, and, uh, you know, kind of just keep them guessing. Alright, now let's talk combos. Let's just go, go full balls deep into it. Uppercut. Back one. One, three, three. Guys are calm. Back three. That is 40% right there. I mean, I think that's pretty good, personally. Now, if you're in the corner, that's a little tricky. I haven't done this in a little while, but... If you time this right, I like to do stand 3, high to boost, stand 3, high to boost, back 3, four. That's a good 51% right there. If you wanted to spend the extra meter for the extra 10%. I I mean, 50% is a lot. You could win the game right there for sure. And it is a pretty nice combo. Now, the cool thing about high boost is that you can even get it meterless in the corner. And there you have it. 27, about 28%. Not bad. Not bad at all, actually. But if you wanted to get, uh, spend a meter there, it's a little bit trickier, but if you can land it just right, which I didn't just now. There you go. Now, the female hitbox is a little bit different. 
you would need to do back to 2 1. And the reason for that is because this 2 4 2 into Hydra Boost actually whiffs in the corner. It makes them drop early. They don't hit the second geyser, which is supposed to, just, you know, give them more elevation. You could just cancel early. But to be honest, I think I think doing this is a little bit better, personally. Just because you'll be using this move a lot more than you'll be using this one. Especially in the corner. So essentially the combo is the rest of the combo is the same. You just start out with that. So I dropped that right there. The last part is a little trickier. Thirty-eight percent is a little bit less, but still is up there. Now, if we're talking corner combos, if you wanted to do something that just wasn't a KB and it's just all meter, there's a couple ways you could do this. Uh, if you wanted the most damage, I would probably say one three three, high boost, stand three, high boost, back three four. Forty-one percent, not bad at all. A little less not bad though now i'm pretty sure i don't need to tell you how good range movement is if you're able to wave dash he is a scary person to fight against as you can see it is a little tougher than tough to do i am not that good at it but essentially wave dashing is you just dash normally and then you block and then hold forward again and you see that little like skip i did there it's a little tough to showcase without a controller cam but basically it propels you forward after blocking and it does a second dash for free when you only tapped it once so if you can get a rhythm of that you can kind of just keep the flow going it's a little hard other than that uh, another reason why i love to use guys of palm is if i land a lucky jump kick i do one three three yeah and depending on how i'm feeling i'll either do this it kind of depends on the situation. If I get, depends on how late I hit the one three three. If I hit it kind of late like that, I'll probably just do that for a little, little less damage. But I like to just make sure that I take home the damage. You know what I mean? Now, if you've played Rain, you know that his damage is a little lackluster. But I think he makes up for that in a few different ways. Like first off. His back to his back to one is the strongest, absolutely strongest move for sure. Um, if they block it, you know, then you can confirm into this and get a full combo. Personally, one of my favorite things to do is if I see that they get hit by this, sometimes I'll purposely not confirm, and I'll just walk up and grab them. And then eventually, they're going to get kind of sick getting grabbed. So I like to just dash up and do it again because I'm probably going to try an uppercut. A little extra damage. If you're like me, you probably hate when people break away out of your move right here. It is so annoying. But if you time it right, the reason why I love Air Argus Plunge is you can actually break their armor. If you time it right. It has to be almost the instant... There you go. The instant that, like, you already amplified the first one, go right into this. As you can see, breakaway is on fast. That's the fastest you can break away. I've had some weird instances where the armor break and the guy's palm hit at the same time, and it just kind of resets you. It's a little buggy. Rain definitely is not a polished nor finished character. They kind of just threw him in. But because of that, he's got some quirks that kind of helps your advantage in some ways. Okay, so editor's note for this next part. Um, for the rest of this video, I kind of just wanted to showcase some combos. And I was going to put the inputs on the screen so that you guys would know what I was doing. And I was going to put a little bit of music on, you know, make it a little groovy, I guess, you know. Uh, but at the end, I'm actually going to show some real matches. So go ahead and stick around for that. But anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. And, uh... Hope you appreciate the video. I remember, I don't forget this from anywhere in town. Think I'm not the way to get my bread up. Artless IO. I see the train with Rosetta. I got no exam and no vendetta. Yeah, she told me up because I let her. Better eat that bar like it's
needs to set up. Pussy tripping down, I need to let us. I don't want the silence. But Music licensing reimagined. Music licensing reimagined. I remember, I don't forget that you made me wear in town. Thinking about the ways to get my blood up. Trying to see the chain with Rosa. I got no ways in me, no one doubt. You can't up the street from Kendall Jack. Chrome out on a cap and on a sweater. You think that you know me, but you never do. I don't want the silence. Yeah, hate that I do 